Today, I travel to Althorpe, the ancestral home of Diana, the late Princess of Wales. Northampton and Long Buckby are the nearest stations to Althorpe. It takes approximately an hour and a half to travel from Euston Station, London to Long Buckby. As there are no buses going directly to Althorpe, if you're not driving, visitors need to take a taxi. I was told by members of staff that this and other cottages on the estate were used by estate workers. Althorpe House was built in 1508 and has been in the Spencer family for over 500 years. The current custodian is Charles, the 9th Earl of Spencer. He is the late princess's younger brother. After the tragic and untimely death of his sister in Paris in August 1997, he planted 36 oak trees along this avenue, one for every year of her short life. This memorial commemorates the planting of the 36 oak trees. It's absolutely beautiful, the scent from these trees.
This entire area was the old stable block. It now houses the shop and the cafeteria, which is aptly called the stables. I had to walk past the gift shop in order to get to the main house. But I couldn't resist a little peek. We'll come back to the gift shop later. Althorpe is a Grade 1 listed house. It has a total of 28 listed buildings on the site. The estate covers an area of 13,000 acres, including woodland, cottages and farmland. The main house has a total of 90 rooms. The house and gardens are open from 11am to 5pm. From today, the 1st of July, the anniversary of Diana's birth, until the 31st of August, the anniversary of her death. Either one of the paths ahead will take me to the spot. There are a few lovely hidden garden enclaves along the way. It's a good five to ten minute walk 
and the house is still visible behind me. I can see a little rowing boat up ahead. There's the lake and the island. This lovely urn marks the princess's burial spot. I decided to walk around the lake. Directly in front of us is Diana's memorial, which we'll visit later. On the wall of the memorial is an extract from the eulogy Diana's brother gave at her funeral in Westminster Abbey. On the other side of Diana's silhouette are her own words. Nothing brings me more happiness than trying to help the most vulnerable people in society. It is a goal and an essential part of my life, a kind of destiny Whoever's in distress can call on me. I will come running wherever they are. back where I began my walk around the lake.
although a stately home, Althorpe had a homely feel about it. It reminded me of Sandringham. Perhaps this is where the Spencer family live when the house is open to visitors. I'm now looking for the tree planted by Nelson Mandela in 2002. Walking past the house again, I wanted to see more of the gardens and the deer park. Earl Spencer is a historian and has written several books. These are on sale in the shop. Visitors to Althorpe are not allowed to film or take photographs of inside the house. So I thought I'd show you these postcards to give you an idea of what a few of the rooms look like. I also bought a guidebook to have a look at later.
Although currently there are no exhibitions at Althorpe, I think the price of £27.50 was well worth it. Back outside the main entrance, I was told that the land opposite also belonged to the Spencer family. Althorpe's local church is St Mary the Virgin with St John in Great Brington. It's been said that the late Diana, Princess of Wales, wanted to be buried in the family crypt here. Due to her enduring status as a 20th century icon, it's just as well that her brother decided the best place for her was at Althorpe, her family home. A forefather of the first American president, George Washington, is buried at this site. There are some wonderful views from outside in the churchyard. It was very poignant going to Diana's home on her birthday. And I'd definitely go again. <laughs> 